Leviticus chapter 15. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When any man has a discharge from his member, his discharge makes him unclean. The uncleanness of his discharge is this, whether his member flows with its discharge or is stopped from discharging, he is unclean during the entire period his member flows or is stopped from discharging. This is his uncleanness. Every bed on which the one with the discharge lies shall be unclean, and everything on which he sits shall be unclean. Anyone who touches his bed shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. All who sit on anything on which the one with the discharge has sat shall wash their clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. All who touch the body of the one with the discharge shall wash their clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. If the one with the discharge spits on persons who are clean, then they shall wash their clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. Any saddle on which the one with the discharge rides shall be unclean. All who touch anything that was under him shall be unclean until the evening, and all who carry such a thing shall wash their clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. All those whom the one with the discharge touches without his having rinsed his hands in water shall wash their clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. Any clay vessel that the one with the discharge touches shall be broken and every vessel of wood shall be rinsed in water. When the one with a discharge is cleansed of his discharge, he shall count seven days for his cleansing. He shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in fresh water, and he shall be clean. On the eighth day he shall take two turtle doves or two pigeons and come before the Lord to the entrance of the tent of meeting and give them to the priest. The priest shall offer them, one for a purification offering and the other for a burnt offering, and the priest shall make atonement on his behalf before the Lord for his discharge. If a man has an emission of semen, he shall bathe his whole body in water and be unclean until the evening. Everything made of cloth or of leather on which the semen falls shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening. If a man lies with a woman and has an emission of semen, both of them shall bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. <clears throat> when a woman has a discharge of blood that is a menstrual discharge from her body, she shall be in her impurity for seven days, and whoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening. Everything upon which she lies during her impurity shall be unclean. Everything also upon which she sits shall be unclean. Whoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. Whoever touches anything upon which he sits shall wash in which she, whoever touches anything upon which she sits shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening, whether it is the bed or anything upon which she sits, when he touches it, it shall be unclean until the evening. If any man lies with her and her impurity falls on him, he shall be unclean seven days, and every bed on which he lies shall be unclean. If a woman has a discharge of blood for many days, not at the time of her menstrual impurity, or if she has a discharge beyond the time of her menstrual impurity, all the days of the discharge she shall continue in uncleanness, as in the days of her impurity, she shall be unclean. Every bed on which she lies during all the days of her discharge shall be treated as the bed of her impurity, and everything on which she sits shall be unclean, as in the uncleanness of her impurity. Whoever touches these things shall be unclean, and shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and be unclean until the evening. If she is cleansed of her discharge, she shall count seven days, and after that she shall be clean. 
On the eighth day she shall take two turtle doves or two pigeons and bring them to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The priest shall offer one for a purification offering and the other for a burnt offering, and the priest shall make atonement on her behalf before the Lord for her unclean discharge. Thus you shall keep the Israelites separate from their uncleanness, so that they do not die in their uncleanness by defiling my tabernacle that is in their midst. This is the rule for those who have a discharge. For him who has an emission of semen, becoming unclean thereby, for her who is in the infirmity of her menstrual period, for anyone male or female who has a discharge, and for the man who lies with a woman who is unclean.